Typically you guys see me retrofitting things, but today I want to talk to you about what's on this Tundra. And it's pretty sick because some of these items that are installed, you can open them up and customize them to whatever your taste is. But I want to do a small front to back breakdown of what's on this Tundra. Let's get it. These Morimoto XB headlights are specific for the 14 to 21 Tundra and they're really sick. When you start the truck, it has a really cool startup sequence that I feel like grabs a lot of attention. At least it's one of my favorite things about this headlight. Their turn signals, as soon as you activate them, they're sequential. Who doesn't want to be on the road flexing your lights with sequential turn signals? I know I do. And this is the custom life here at TRS. The cool thing about these lights is you can unplug one connector and you can just make it a solid light. Every time you turn left or right or even have your hazards on, it won't be in sequence, it'll just flash. But of course, you can't forget the DRL. You want people to know I have brand new Morimoto lights. As soon as you're driving around, it has an awesome amber DRL on the road that everybody can see. I'm gonna move on to the next awesome part, which are the Morimoto four bangers. Honestly, I've become a huge fan of the Morimoto four bangers the more I work with them because they're really, really cool and just versatile. These specifically are the wide four bangers and that's perfect for any application that you're gonna use as a fog light, hence the Tundra here. And it has brackets that are fitting specific to this truck. Honestly, Morimoto has done a fantastic job of making everything almost plug and play and very easy to install. Plus look how perfect this fits. There's not many aftermarket parts in existence where you can just buy something, it fits perfect and the light output is perfect for what you need for a fog light application. But I'm gonna move on up to the ditch lights because that's another sick part that Morimoto has made for this Tundra. Morimoto four fingers come with a variety of options. You have the NCS, which is the entry level model, and then you have the HXB, which is like the top dog, top of the line model. These are the HXBs in combo. I'm really loving how Morimoto has handled their ditch lights. The combo paired with the wide bead pattern is insane and it's awesome. Morimoto has killed it with the four bangers and we're gonna to continue to use them and you'll see them in more future applications that we bring into the studio. But now we're gonna move on to the next light in the grill. Toyota from factory gave you this useless piece of junk and we have no idea what they were doing with it, but NSV came out with a perfect fitting product for your Tundra. Truck guys, y'all put a light bar in everything. You guys light bar your bathroom, kitchens, why not light bar the grill as well too? I think NSV did an awesome job bringing functionality out of something that's completely useless because now you have a DRL that matches your Morimoto XB headlights perfectly. And if you're like me and you want to flex in front of everybody, you also have a chasing light that you can just have sit there going back and forth. And if you're out here rooting, tooting and shooting, maybe off road or on road, whatever you're into, you have an awesome high beam that can be set on the light bar as well too. More light ain't gonna kill you. And it doesn't end there. There is so much more to show you guys with this Tundra. There are a lot of awesome parts. So let's move on to the back. Usually my favorite part of the car is gonna be the front. Why? Because I have a 370Z with Morimoto XB lights and it changed the look 100%. But on this specific Tundra, my favorite is actually the tail light. It has three optical light pipes that look absolutely sick. As you can see here, I'm standing it. I had to flex the sequential because it just looks really cool. Right now, the sequence is obviously gonna be amber, but as soon as you put it on the parking lot, it's gonna run red. And then when you push the brake, and it's gonna be a brighter red. These are absolutely amazing, but Another functional thing about this tail light is gonna be the reverse light output. These are insanely bright. Your normal light is gonna be halogen while these are gonna be a bright LED. And it's of course, it's a truck. Reversing anywhere, you want the most output so you can understand where you're going. Typically, I'm all about customization and making everything personalized, but everything that was installed on this car is just a direct replacement, which is never an issue. Some people are scared to break into their headlights, the taillights, etc. So I wanted to show you another alternative that you can do to your 14 and 21 Tundra and still make it just as sick. Everything that we just spoke on is available on the retrofitsource.com. So if you're interested in absolutely anything, make sure to hit the website. And if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.